Annie Wilson and welcome to both sides of the stretcher.com. I'm a firefighter paramedic in South Florida and I've started this movement as um, just a grassroots effort in order to break the stigma of mental health and to try to help save lives. Um, by nature, as first responders, we're caregivers and we tend to care for others before we care for ourselves. And um, there's this huge epidemic on our hands right now of first responders uh, committing suicide. And we have brought a lot more awareness to the issue in the last five years, I'd say. But we still have a huge problem on our hands. And I feel like the problem is that we're not talking about it. We're talking about the problem itself, but we're not talking about the issues that are causing the problem. Um, oftentimes we refer our brothers and sisters out to the mental health resources that they need, whether they need some therapy or they need uh, drug and alcohol treatment um, or what have you. Um, so we're just referring them out to other sources, but we're not creating an atmosphere that feels safe enough for them to come up and come forward and say, hey, I have these issues, I'm struggling. And then other people to be like, yeah, I struggle with that too. And when that comes up, this is what I do. And this is what helps me. Um, there's definitely still this um, mentality of pull up your bootstraps and suck it up. and. You know, we don't cry, and we don't talk about our emotions here, and you know, you need help with that, fine, but go over there and talk about that. And it's a problem, it's a huge problem. And so that has kind of become my new mission is to try to get the word out there that there are other first responders that are struggling with these symptoms and have to face these things on a daily basis. And you don't have to face it alone. And it can be really scary and really vulnerable coming forward and exposing yourself with these things. I've struggled with it personally for years. Um, and even in the last few months, really been ambivalent about coming forward and saying that I have these issues. Um, but that's just perpetuating the problem by me not coming forward and talking about it is perpetuating the problem I'm trying to solve. So anyways, um, there's a lot in the works and I have a lot of vision of how I could see this playing out. But for now, it's just to get the word out there that it's okay if you're um, struggling with depression and anxiety or substance abuse. And it's okay if you've contemplated su attempting suicide. It's okay if you already have. But the good thing is that you're still here. You're still alive. You're still breathing. You still have air in your lungs. and there are so many avenues to get help and there's so many of us out here that are willing to talk to you and um, I just want you to know that you're loved and that things do get better you just have to push through this moment but you never have to go through this moment alone that there are other first responders out there and we're willing to talk to you uh, you can reach me personally at Annie at bothsidesofthestretcher.com and you can also find us on Facebook in Both Sides of the Stretcher Facebook group. So uh, I will be in touch with all the exciting things coming in the future but for now let's just get the word out there and tell people where to meet us at. So come find us.